walk this earth like a god. You scared? What? 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 You scared? What? 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 You scared? What? what Kicking what, in what? the door, I make the bitches hit the floor for keys. Yeah. Travis got it here, and I'm back with some more boxing. Tyson Fury really need to sit his crackhead ass down somewhere, man. He's getting a lot of attention from all of these coke-fueled tweets and, and all of this bullshit that he's doing. He's really getting a lot of attention. Y'all don't realize this man is coked out of his head while he's doing this shit. He's saying this shit. Everybody's paying attention to what he's saying. It's unbelievable. I'm surprised. I didn't expect it. Dude. And what is it about cocaine that's making all of these people gay? Oscar De La Hoya. We, sooner or later, we're going to hear some shit about Ricky Haddon and Joe Calzacchi and, and fucking Tyson Fury now. It's others I ain't thinking of right now, but I don't get it. What the fuck? Where's the connection to snorting some shit in your nose to wanting to get fucked in your ass or wanting to fuck somebody in the ass or wanting to dress like a woman and put on some high heels? Tyson Fury has retired unretired within a three hour period. I didn't really give a fuck. I wasn't paying attention when he retired and why everybody is talking about this big story and shit. And then three hours later, he unretired. I still didn't give a fuck. I didn't even find out about it until he unretired hours later. Like this dude is high and y'all care. Y'all look, you know how many motherfuckers that get drunk and high and say crazy shit? That nobody don't give a fuck about? You can call one of your best friends, drunk than a motherfucker. Be like, man, you know that motherfucker was talking that shit the other day. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go blow that motherfucker head off. I don't give a fuck. Fuck it. I don't give a fuck about nothing. If I do 25, I do 25. Guess what? Guess what's going to happen? The phone is going to get hung up in that motherfucker's face. And in the morning when he wake up, we're going to be like, look, you was talking crazy as fuck, man. He probably be laughing about the shit. Ain't nobody thinking about it. Ain't nobody about to be like, look, man, you got to watch this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? He might go and blow somebody's head off. No, man. This dude is fucked up. He ain't He ain't got no fight to train for. Okay, he do have mental problems, right? And he's depressed. So guess what depressed people do? They use drugs. They use alcohol. You think he's really sober when he's sending out these tweets? Fuck no. You know what I'm saying? He might have canceled the fight because he wanted to get high. They said that he tested positive for cocaine, what, September the 22nd, when he was supposed to be training for the fight. So, you know, I mean, he might have went to the gym and he might not have been on cocaine right at that moment, but he probably did something the night before or maybe the, the night before that. Because um, coke stay in your system like three days, right? So this motherfucker is high in talking shit. And, you know... Nobody really should be paying attention to what the fuck he's talking about. But, you know, I get it. You know, these motherfuckers with these websites, you know, um, it's all clickbait at the end of the day. These motherfuckers on these boxing websites, especially them, don't think just because it came from a boxing website is more credible than YouTube because those motherfuckers make less than us on YouTube. So they really, they really going to be on some clickbait shit. So they're going to they gonna take little snippets of what he said, come up with some catchy headline, you click on it, then you see the ads running and shit. You see the ads popping up. That's what they want you to do, right? They're getting paid from those ads. And then, you know, you got fucking channels like Fight Hype. Every time that Tyson Fury say something, they make some motherfucking video with, with some some old videos and shit in the background and then they got little a little sound effects and shit they are everybody trying to get money off of what this crackhead is talking about that's the only thing that's in the news right now actually people talking shit about Gennady Golovkin and Tyson Fury whether he's cracked out whether he's depressed whether he's retired he's unretired he needs some dope where he gonna get his next hit at is he shooting it snorting it smoking it is he going to be in rehab? Going to get help? Who loves him? All of this bullshit, man. Motherfuckers acting like they concerned about his health and shit. Billy Joe Saunders saying, hey, without boxing, he might not even live to see 30. So you you predicting that he's going to kill himself? You know what? That's really like some fucked up shit to say. You know, concerned or not. You know, I mean, the man is going through some shit. He might not even live to see 30. Just think he's alive right now. He's going to hear what you said. 
He um just tweeted some shit not too long ago, man. And um, it said, good news is I'm getting the right help and I'll be back even stronger than before. Try and stop me. God is great. Blessed is Jesus. And you know what? This tweet actually made me do this video because I wasn't even going to talk about Tyson Fury. I really don't give a fuck about what he's doing right now. He's really like irrelevant to the sport of boxing right now. He's a fucking disgrace. He ruined it. He blew it all. You gained the world, man. You're the baddest man on the planet. You pulled it off. You did what no other Klitschko opponent could do for over 10 years. Won all of those titles. And then you fucked it up. You made the negotiations difficult for even getting the, the rematch made in the first place. And then you pull out with an ankle injury. Whether it's legit or not. But still, you pulled out. And then you pull out again. Oh, and then it's the, the rumors about you taking steroids last year. Before that fight. So we don't even know if you would have got stripped anyways. He could have got stripped regardless even if the fight would have went through for that positive steroid test. And then you pull out of this shit talking about you're medically unfit to fight. You're depressed and shit. Maybe you're just a fucking drug addict and an alcoholic. That's what happens when you use drugs and alcohol. You get depressed, especially if you ain't got no dope no more. Maybe you need to hit up your dope man. Maybe he has hit up his dope man. That's why he's being positive all of a sudden. This motherfucker is really a disappointment, man. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. You know, he went from being a man. And then he's a trash talker, too. So he can sell himself. You know how many opponents that I want to see him fight? And I didn't even give a fuck, man. Dude, it's so many cherry picking going, going on in the sport of boxing. Even if he was to cherry pick and talk shit to his opponents, that would be more respectable than this. Don't nobody know if you're on steroids or not. You know, I didn't really believe the steroid story because his his shape and his frame, but it's still possible. You know what I'm saying? Steroids do different things for different people. You know, um, maybe he just needed a little boost to get motivated in the gym because he was too lazy to do it on his own. And nobody know if you're on cocaine or not. You have admitted to using cocaine before you appear to be high on cocaine at these damn press conferences. I noticed this a long time ago. Surprised they didn't catch up to your ass until now. And you know what? They would have let it all ride. They would have let it all ride. They would have let that title fight happen. They would have let you get, let you get your five million pounds or whatever the fuck you was going to get paid. Everything would have went down. But you decided to pull out again. And now all of this shit that's been building up all of this time. Now motherfuckers is dropping a hammer on your ass. Like, look, man, I'm tired of your bullshit. And all of this shit, man. But you know what? You've been running around here acting like a preacher and shit, right? You've been talking all that good shit and then you want to bring up Jesus, man. You know, but, um, you know, I ain't even going, I ain't, I'm, I ain't trying to bring up that shit all the time, man. But you want to be a dick in the booty ass nigga, all, you be a dick in the booty ass nigga all you want. But you can't be, you talking about Jesus, Jesus don't like that. You know, so like, that's like a contradiction, bro. He never deleted the tweet that said, I would like to come out, I'm gay. He never did it. So we would have to assume that he was being serious. And if you are being serious, you definitely got some soul searching to do. Because Jesus don't like that. I'm done talking about this motherfucker, man. Get your fucking act together. I'm Travis Gotti. Thank you for tuning in to Travis Gotti Boxing. Subscribe. I got a good fucking with you.